What drove us to start this study is the fact that we know that infants are able to discriminate faces from very early on. So they know happy is different from sad, is different from angry. But what we didn't know yet was whether they understand the meaning of those emotions. So we used three different methods. One of them was looking time data, and the other two measures were empathy measures. Uh, we used the concern variable. We looked at how much concern children showed in their faces. The second one is what we call checking behaviors, and that's how often they are surprised at what they see. One of the most important findings was that infants who had seen me unreliable or odd, so when I showed a facial expression that did not match the emotional event that came right before, those infants tended to look more often at me and look back and forth and engage in more of these checking behaviors. So looking at parent, looking at me back and forth, trying to figure out what was happening. This was only found with the 18 month olds. The 15 month olds did not engage in more checking behaviors, which suggest that they didn't really understand the association between emotional events and the emotion that follows when it does not match. What's important with this particular study is that we really look at the role, the development of empathy and the development and the understanding of emotions at the same time. So we're sort of saying in a way that these abilities to detect mismatches from when emotions don't match the emotional scene is adaptive in a sense because younger infants are only reacting to the negative faces. Now, this is adaptive for them because they have less experience with the world and so seeing a negative face warns them of caution. While 18 month olds also do this, they become a little bit more vigilant. They're more mature cognitively and they say, okay, you're showing a negative face, but you weren't supposed to. It doesn't match the experience I've had with positive experiences.